the first piece of glassware we're going to add is our Claisen adapter and we have to grease the joints here add it in there and spin it around Okay. same thing with the stopper we want to grease the stopper which goes in now again the, the reason we're adding the Claisen adapter is that just in case we need to add more water to this solution Okay, turn that, put that in and spin that around. The next piece of glassware is your, clays, is your sidearm adapter. So I'm going to grease both of these joints at the same time. And put this in and spin it around. Because, because we're, we're raising this a little bit higher, I'm going to secure this joint using a keck clip, a joint clip. Now that we have that, the joint is already greased, so I'm going to add the water jacket condenser on and spin that around to create a seal and add a joint clip. Now we can secure this in the clamp this joint is fairly secure now because of the joint clip this clamp doesn't need to be tightened it just needs to be uh, secured very loosely this is to provide balance and not very much for support Okay. now that we've gotten to this point we can add our vacuum adapter the solution has condensed by the time it reaches the vacuum adapter so no grease is needed at this point secure this joint using a cut clip and finally add in your 50 mil round bottom flask also secure this using a joint clip okay now that we've completed the glass for assembly we want to add our thermometer and thermometer adapter I've already connected the two and make sure we grease this this is going to come in contact with vapor as well Add this in there and spin it around. The red part of the thermometer bulb should line up with the joint of the side arm adapter. Once this is complete, now we can add in our tubing. The water inlet goes in at the bottom, and the water towards the drain goes out at the top. Now this is uh, the, the, the glassware assembly for a steam distillation is complete. Before you start heating, have this approved by your lab instructor or your lab intern. Once they've approved it, you can raise the heating mantle for, that will fit a 500 mil round bottom flask. Now you can start heating. This reaction will heat for approximately one hour where you will collect approximately 35 milliliters of distillates. Once the distillation is complete, you want to let this cool down and then you're going to use organic extraction or extraction using dichloromethane to isolate your limonene. This is uh, a, a technique called uh, creation of a filter pipette. You may need to filter your solution that you've obtained from the extraction of limonene from orange peels to before you run the polarimeter. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now I've clamped this in a clamp. You don't necessarily, necessarily need to do that. But you want to start with the pipette. I'm going to take this out. And you need some cotton. 
and the thing here is most students take probably way too much. You want a small ball of cotton, which you'll roll up into a ball, and I put it into the opening of the pasture pipette. I'm going to use another pipette to push that down into the into the pasture pipette. Okay, so it may take you a little while, but you're pushing this small ball of cotton down to where it's nice and secure in the tip. Now what's this, what that's going to do is it's going to trap any particulates or any, any uh, solid material that may be floating in your solution that we need to remove in order to do the polarimetry experiment. So now we can set this in our, our clamp, clamp that nice and loosely, and now we can simply transfer our solution. You will have a 10 milliliter uh, solution of 95% of ethanol that contains limonene. Simply take your uh, pasture pipette and add it to the filter pipette and let the solution filter into your polarimetry tube. I'm simply collecting this in a beaker, but you, you will be adding this directly to a polarimetry tube. Um, once you have added it to your polar, polarimetry tube, you can add, take this to your lab instructor or your lab intern and measure the optical rotation of limonene.